Okay, hello, welcome everybody. It's another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday, yay! Uh, first Friday in October, beautiful, huh? Hopefully you guys are having like a good fall. Um, I have to say around here in Michigan, it's been like rainy and dreary and ugly for like three days straight, I think. I don't know, it's been a really long time. And the grass is super green and long and needs to be mowed, but <laughs> I can't get out there to do it. Hopefully like this weekend, I might be able to get to that. So hey Sandy, how are you doing? Hey Susie, so glad you guys can join us. Hey Nikki, awesome, everybody's popping on K. hello. So glad you guys can all join me. Um, so yeah, make sure, hey Michelle, how are you doing? It's early for you, I know, out west. Um, yeah, make sure you hop on, say hello while we're kind of waiting for people to pop on here. I love to um, see your faces. It's so fun up in the little top corner now. I can see all the little faces of everybody. So hey, Philomena, how are you doing? Yay, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad everybody's popping on. Um, so let's see what I've got my whole list of lots of fun stuff going on. Um, we had homecoming here in Alma last weekend and I have to tell you what it rained um, Friday night too. They actually canceled the homecoming parade which you know it's just kind of a fun little thing. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. The kids were kind of bummed about that and then um, Oh, Denise, the baby is sleeping. Yes, <laughs> much better than crying, teething baby, right? Um, yeah, and then the game, um, I ended up not even going because it was um, kind of rainy all night too. So not a great homecoming. Hopefully next year, because I think last year was kind of rainy and ugly too. So hopefully next year um, we'll have a good weather homecoming. So, um, but Lily had fun at the dance. Actually, it cleared up. Finally, like Saturday earlier in the day was kind of ugly. And then, hey, Diana, how are you? Um, by the time she got to get her dress on and her hair all done and everything um, and get outside to get pictures. Um, oh, Susie, yeah, much better tonight. Homecoming much better um, this weekend. Yeah, I know there are a few of them around town. So um, <clears throat> yeah, but anyway, she had a good time. She went with a um, group of girlfriends. I took them up um, to Mount Pleasant, which is just up the road so they could get dinner and dropped them off and they thought they were all special. <laughs> you know, a cute little group of 15 year old girls um, out for dinner together. So they had a good time. Um, so yeah, let's see what else is going on. I guess what I want to make sure to say is because I know I've got um, more new people popping on the Facebook Live. Um, if you're new to Facebook Live, because I do this later on in like the broadcast, um, but I want you to make sure that you know that when I do the demonstrations, um, of the projects that I'm going to make, you get those for free if you put in at least a $30 order online. I'll give you the host code in a little bit. I always include it um, in the details on this um, Facebook Live video, and then it's always at gatheringinspiration.com. But yeah, and thank you for the share, Philomena. I appreciate that. So yeah, I just want to make sure everybody knows that. Um, put that online order in, use the host code, and you get free stuff from me. Plus, we do a drawing too, which we'll do in just a little bit that your name would go into as well. So hey, Sally, how are you <laughs> yay awesome awesome fun group of ladies joining me today thank you guys um so let's see i have too many notes out here and i keep kind of looking down at the wrong little pile of notes uh so okay let me get back on track here um oh let's see we have the um weekend retreat or not weekend the one day retreat this weekend <laughs> on saturday um so i will have if you're not coming to the local um, retreat the uh, retreat in a box i will be shipping those out um, on monday next week because um, i have a little bit more i need to make sure i'm all ready to go to get everything in the packages and with that being said i still have a couple more retreats in a box left if anybody is interested i'm going to show you guys because i okay i have had so much fun playing with these products so if you are interested in getting the um, retreat in the box. You are gonna get a half a pack of the gorgeous, can you guys see? Like, it's kind of glaring a little bit there. Um, but yeah, this is the Brightly Gleaming, I think it's called, designer series paper, beautiful. Actually, I shouldn't have flipped that closed, right? So you get one of each of these sheets, and then this paper, I always say it's not quite as like glitzy and glamorous, but it is still beautiful, lots of pretty patterns. Blues and greens are my absolute favorite. So you get a half a pack of that paper, you get a full bolt of the um, Old Olive and Pretty Peacock reversible, beautiful reversible ribbon. What I have left of, but you would get a full pack of these star designer elements. So fun little stars, they've got um, uh, a glue dot on the back of them, so they're super easy 
to pop onto projects. And then these are really fun. I hadn't played with these much. Um, so I have to show you guys, cause this is another, you get a full package and I've already got them pulled out. So there's huge glare, but can you see? So they're calling these the brightly gleaming foil elements and you get five sheets of these. So you get, I'm gonna try to point out, you get a, maybe go this way. So we get a couple of ornaments, we get a couple of huge stars, a couple little baby stars, and then four sprigs. So all of that, and then four more sheets of exactly the same, and they just pop right out. You add a little bit of adhesive on the back of them, and they are beautiful, blingy, bronzy, gorgeous um, embellishments that we use on the make and takes. So if you're coming, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick flash of the make and takes because I want you guys to see like how beautiful these projects are. If you're not coming tomorrow, um, if you wanna get the retreat in a box, you get those goodies like in the goodie bag that I just showed you, you get, okay, like I said, super quick flash. Look at those beautiful cards, right? So, cause I can't, I don't wanna show them because people have paid for those. So that's kind of like exclusive content. If you pay for the retreat in a box, then you can get um, the PDF tutorial to tell you step-by-step step how to put all those projects together. But they're beautiful, like I said. I mean, look at like, ooh, look at all that blingy, gorgeous, uh, bronziness, right? You also get treats, which I cannot show you, but they're made with all of the product from your goodie bag too. So the fun thing for me is I love to be able to show cards or projects that you can make with the stuff in your goodie bag. And then I love to give you cute treats. So you have like treat ideas. Um, and next week I will be filming videos on how to make the treats that I'm going to send. Cause again, I don't want to spoil the surprise. I want everybody to be able to open their retreat in a box up and, you know, not know what's in there, right. As far as the make and takes and the treats. So after, um, I'm sure everyone's gotten those treats, then I'll put a couple of videos up so you can see the treats that I made for everybody and um, then make them yourself if you would like to. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. So goodie bag, make and takes, cute treats for me, all retreat in a box. So I think I have, I don't know, four or five or six more. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for one. If you're local and you wanna pick it up, it's just $45. If you need it to ship, to you it's sixty dollars i can send you the link if anybody is interested but like i said i have i don't know four or five at least more um retreats in a box left so i would love to get those out to you because you will not be disappointed those projects um i could have made a million more with all of that product i'm absolutely in love with it and i'm going to show you some more in a little bit too featuring more of that product so yeah, that was the one, like when I looked at the two page spread in the catalog, the bright like gleaming suite, the blues and the greens with the fun um, brands, that was the suite that I was like, okay, I am in total love. Like I liked other things, but that was the first, like I gotta have everything in that suite. I think it was the first card that I made too, actually. So let me know if anybody's interested. Then we have the weekend retreat coming up on November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. I've mentioned that a bunch of times, so I won't go into too much detail, but we still have room. I'd love to get you signed up for that as well. That, I'm like, I'm already trying to figure out what pictures I'm gonna print so I can um, get them into books. I, I love to make, um, I do like the memories and more, um, kind of the easy scrapbooking is how I like to call it. Um, but I do those of all of our Stampin' Up! trips and I'm a couple trips behind. So I'm hoping to get at least one or two of those um, documented um, at that weekend retreat. So I'm sure you have lots of projects you would like to work on as well. So it's a great time to be able to do that. So if you want more info, if you need the link, let me know, I can send that out to you, okay? Um, let's see what else, what else? Oh, actually back to um, tomorrow. So I am doing what I'm calling like an impromptu BOGO sale. Cause I always put my buy one, get one free stuff out at my retreat. So down at the stamp studio was actually where we're gonna do the retreat this weekend. Um, if you are in town and just wanna come shop from the BOGO sale, the buy one, get one free sale, I'm gonna have that up from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. at the studio right here in Alma. So if you're around and wanna pop in and do a little quick shopping, you buy retired product off of the tables with all my BOGO stuff, and then you get new, well, or current, I should say, current holiday and annual catalog product for free. So if anybody's interested, stop in. Just stop in the studio anytime between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. tomorrow, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. I'm like, my. I always say this, right? My brain is going a million miles an hour because I'm trying to make sure I'm all prepped for tomorrow. And then I wanna make sure I give you guys a good Facebook Live today too because there's so much cute stuff 
I'm already like counting how many weeks are left to show you guys all the cute holiday catalog stuff. So you guys are like, oh, you know, right? Holidays have not even begun. And I'm already like, the clock is ticking. I don't have very much time to show everybody these fun, like beautiful products that we have and cute projects that you can make with those things. So I've got a little list of what I want to do and when. So there's lots of good stuff coming too. Um, okay, let's see. I've jumped around some, so now I'm like, okay. What have I mentioned and not mentioned? Um, yeah, I think so. We actually had one new Inkspired Stamper join us before September 30th. So I want to welcome Miss Lee Dowell to the Inkspired Stampers in, our, in my downline. We're happy to have you as a part of our group, Lee. So congratulations and welcome. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's, we're going to jump right into the drawings. Okay, so I changed this last week, so I don't have nearly as many entries in here, but I have to tell you guys, thank you so much for all of your shares of the video. That's how you get your name in the drawing. If you share the video anytime between now and next Thursday night, I go through all of the shares and I put your name in here. So share the video. I really, 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 really appreciate that. I love, it's a great way to reach new people, find some new stampers, share this fun that we all have with some new friends, right? So your name went in here if you shared the video or if you signed up for my email list, if you haven't done that already. And we had some people do that too. So, oh, actually before I draw, what are we drawing for? These are the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and I absolutely love all the pretty colors. And I know I mentioned that like whatever colors these are meant to be, I don't know if they actually specify it. It's definitely not on this package as far as my eyes can read. <laughs> I might need glasses on to know for sure, but I don't think they list colors. And I don't think they're in the catalog, but basically like blues and greens and reds and um, kind of orangey yellows. You can make these colors be whatever you need them to be. So they work perfectly with your, hey Sue, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, yeah, they're just, I love these. Well, rhinestones are always fun, right? You Just to add a little bling anywhere too. So, okay, we are gonna do our drawing and see who is the winner of the beautiful holiday rhinestone basic tools. Okay, so yep, I've got my little paper pumpkin bag here. And the winner, <laughs> Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. I don't think Mary Ann's on right now, but Mary Ann, I will get these holiday rhinestone basic jewels sent out to you. So thank you very much for, for the share of the video, Mary Ann. Okay, um, let me dump these out. Yeah, out of the way. Okay, so now, let me see, you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away next week? So, okay, you're so cute, yay! <laughs> uh, so for sharing the video or signing up for my email list, your name is gonna go in the drawing next Friday for, and I didn't open this up because I've got some cute projects. Um, this is the Shaded Spruce and Gold Striped Ribbon. And I have to show you, I love the little, can you guys hear the little jingle bell too? So I think that's even better, right? You can show the ribbon on the bolt, but then when you see it, on one of these cute packages. If you guys haven't checked out our gold mini pizza boxes, that's what that is. Can you hear the little jingle bell? Because those are the little jingle bells that are part of that wrapped in plaid suite. And of course that wrapped in plaid designer series paper. And then that ribbon coordinates perfectly, right? So there's one little example. And then here's another fun card with more of that shaded spruce and gold ribbon and more of that fun plaid paper. Yeah, so that's what we will give away next Friday on Facebook Live. Share the video anytime um, and then sign up for my email list, okay? That's how you could win the ribbon and then we'll send that out to you. Um, let's see, let's see. So I think we're gonna do our other drawing. I'm trying to decide what to do next. I've got my little piles here, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to do our other drawing for, so this is the drawing. If you use the host code shopped online, spent at least $30, you're going to get the projects that I demonstrated, which actually I should have mentioned that too. So these were the projects that I demonstrated last week. So anybody that put an online order in of at least $30 is going to get these two cards in the mail from me. I wait until now though to do, um, the drawing. And then I sent, cause if you win from the drawing, then I send you the cards and 
the the winnings from the drawing too so just know that um even though you have to have an order in by wednesday so next week on wednesday as long as you put an order in you'll get the projects that i'm going to demonstrate next and your name will go in the drawing for next friday's facebook live and then on monday if that makes sense of the following week is when the cards will go out to you right and if you won then you will get the in this case this week it is the mosaic embossing folder okay so let's do our drawing we had just a couple of entries in here uh, for putting in an online order sorry i hope that made sense sometimes i think i talk way too much and then i still haven't even explained it very well which seems ridiculous right <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay all right so we're shaking these around if you have any questions let me know it's really not that difficult though, right? Just put in an online order and use the host code and you get free projects and your chance to win the mosaic embossing folder. And the winner is Miss Patricia Stark. So congratulations, Patricia. You are the proud owner of the mosaic, and I think it's a 3D, yep. Mosaic 3D embossing folder. We made some beautiful projects with this embossing folder um, a few weeks ago, I think. So. All right, we will get that sent out to you, Miss Patricia. And, okay, so do you guys want to know what we are gonna give away this week? OMG, have you guys seen, this is the Feels Like Frost. It's a six by six paper pack. So you can kind of, ooh, look at that glare. Haha, <laughs> you guys are all so sweet. Congratulations, Patricia. So on one side is kind of, can you tell that that's silver and white? It's really hard to tell, isn't it? Okay, Here, let me open this up. Though. <clears throat> okay, if I fan these out, oh my. You know what, we're gonna do like, I don't know how many different ones there are. It's just so pretty. You guys have to get the full effect of this, I think. Okay, so if we do that and that and that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you like half of them because these might be hard. Oh, there, right there in that light. Can you guys see? I didn't realize, I was trying to figure out, I saw that stripey, like silver and white stripey paper and trying to figure out where that came from because this feels like frost. So one side is all like white and silver. You guys almost need to see these. I'm gonna to have to show you these individually because these are beautiful. Okay, so this is the other, not that the white and silver, but um, the design is all over. Um, all of the pieces does that make sense like it's I'll explain it in a sec it'll, it'll make more sense when I show you right so here's the rest the second half again silver and white with all of those pretty look at oh those snowflakes are gorgeous too aren't they okay so those but this is what I was trying to say so like this paper is all uniformly polka dot where this side if I fan it out you might only see that little top corner so can you guys see like look at I have to show you guys all of these because they Oh my gosh, the frostiness. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I can see just, um, they might be upside down, you never know. But this could just, you, you could make some super like beautiful, simple cards with this paper. Really all you'd have to do is kind of put this um, like on your card front and add a little sentiment, maybe a little bow or ribbon or something. Oops, I feel like I have hair, sorry. <laughs> you know how on dark shirts, they your hair shows up so much? Thought I had one. So look at, oh my gosh. I haven't even looked at some of these up close, but aren't these beautiful? Look at that one too, oh my gosh. So I haven't even played with this paper yet, but here I am, I kind of flipped through it the other day and thought, okay, trying to come up with some things to do with this, but really like, look at, oh, look at, it's like a pine cone and then all covered in um, snow. This one's gonna go that way, right? Look at that, oh my gosh. This paper is gorgeous, so, right? Make sure you put your online order in, use that host code, and you could be the proud winner of the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper on next Friday's Facebook Live. That is gorgeous. You guys are gonna love that paper. And I really wanna play with it now. <laughs> I'm like, I wish I had more time. I want more time to play with all these beautiful things, right? I know we all feel that way. <laughs> yes, it is super beautiful, isn't it, Denise? Okay. Um, we are almost ready. Okay, I have one more thing to show you guys. So I alluded to the fact that I've been playing with the, um, what is it called? 
brightly gleaming suite of products. I um, am doing the holiday bundle series. Also, I kind of want holiday bundle series because like I said, that Christmas gleaming or brightly gleaming suite was my absolute favorite when I saw it in the catalog. So I knew I wanted to do a class to go. And then I kind of didn't realize how close they were gonna be together, like the retreat and I featured all of that product and then this Christmas gleaming class to go or it's a live class too. So the live class is on, let me make sure I get that right. It's on Wednesday, October 23rd from six until 8.30. So that's here live in Alma. If you can't make it, if, if you're not local or if you just can't make it to the studio that night, you can get the to go version of the brightly gleaming bundle class. And I'm going to tell you guys those couple of options. I just posted the video uh, yesterday to the YouTube channel. So um, if I screw up at all and telling you anything, all the correct details are on the YouTube video. The one thing I will say is if you've already gotten, let me make sure I have it here. Yes, the Christmas gleaming stamp set, which is beautiful. I love the imagery in um, the stamps, right? And then this one too, the, the three ornaments, and then the berries and the holly. And then we've got, I'm gonna read you these sentiments. Well, obviously that one says Merry Christmas. The other is deck the halls with boughs of holly. That's uh, that one right there. And then this one says, and be jolly this season. So super cute stamp set. And then the coordinating punches. It's a punch pack. I think they call it the Christmas gleaming punch pack. So you get the tall um, and then the kind of short squatty, I guess I would say, <laughs> ornament that of course punch out these shapes of ornaments right there, right? So I have a couple of different options for this holiday, um, the Christmas gleaming class to go, right? Okay, um, let me see. So yeah, I'm still stuck on the fact that I kind of, what I will say is, so I designed four cards for this class and I designed the four make and takes for the one day retreat and I could probably come up with, I don't know, 10 or more, more cards to make with this product because it is all so beautiful. I, I just love it, <laughs> you guys. So yeah, you're probably going to be sick of it by the time I'm done showing you everything. But this one, I can show you the cards that we're going to make in the Christmas gleaming class to go, okay? But actually, let me let me back up. Sorry, I'm like all crazy again today as usual. So option number one, you basically get the stamp set and both of the punches, right? Okay, so the Christmas gleaming stamp set and then the two ornament punches come with option number one. Then you also get four cards, two of each of them, okay? And I'm gonna show you the cards in just a sec, okay? That is option number one and it's $69. You also get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together, okay? Option number two is if you already have the Christmas gleaming stamp set and the punches, make sure you don't get option two if you don't have those things, right? Because you need your stamp and you need your punch to do, you know, to make your projects, right? So option number two, you are gonna get, instead you're gonna get a bunch of the product that we used on the card. So you're gonna get, again, a full pack of the Star Designer Elements, a full bolt of that old olive pretty peacock reversible ribbon in this case you are going to get a quarter of a pack so instead of one of each of these sheets you're going to get there's one more where is that a half there it is a half of each of those so six by twelve piece of each of the brightly gleaming designer series papers okay um, plus the PDF tutorial and then four cards, two of each of them, right? So that option number two is $42, all right? Um, RSVPs are due by Monday, October 21st, and uh, I'll have everything shipped out to you no later than Wednesday, October 30th. So now do you guys wanna see the cards? Because I love them. I love, 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 love. It's the blues and the greens. Um, I just can't stop telling you guys how much I love them, right? Okay. So here is one of them. So you'd make two of that card, right? You would make two of that card. You would make two of that one and then two more of that guy right there. So I will tell you, if you decide, because like I said, I've been so in love with this. If you decide you want the retreat in a box and this Christmas gleaming class to go, you actually will get a full pack of designer series paper if you sign up for both of them because you get a half a pack in one and a quarter a pack in another. So I'm just going to throw in a whole pack of designer series paper if you get the retreat in a box and 
the other brightly gleaming class to go. So all of those details are, um, I'm going to have it posted, I think, tomorrow at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Um, and I'll be emailing about it too, so that'll all happen this weekend. So if you have any questions, let me know, but I would love to get one of those to-go kits uh, sent out to you because I promise you will not be disappointed. These cards are just beautiful. And it would be fun to get the retreat in a box and um, these other cards because then you'd have so many. You'd have like eight, you'd have 12 beautiful holiday cards all ready to go. And then you'd have a bunch of product that you could make many, many more of them too. So pick your favorite one and make a bunch of them. So on um, the other thing, I know there are a couple of repeats like the reversible ribbon and the star designer elements. It's awesome to have like doubles of those things, but if you don't want that, we can substitute for something else. So just let me know. I'm easy, I'm flexible. I just wanna get these cute cards and the tutorial sent out to you and some product. And if you already have it, we can make substitutions, okay? Um, all right, so I think I need to clear my space here because we are ready to do our uh, demonstrations, our projects, okay? Are you guys ready to see some stamping? Yeah, I think we're good. I need to find my grid paper. Here we go. Let me get that set out before we move things. Okay, I think we're ready. All right. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec while we fly through the air. And I think, um, I really think I flipped my wrist funny that one time when my camera went sideways so i'm trying really hard not to like <laughs> flip my wrist anymore okay so let's see we're gonna flip the camera down and see what do we see okay i think we are good all right and we look pretty centered there right okay so new host code i should have mentioned that new host code for october is NPTCWZUH. So put your online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday. Use the host code. You're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate right now. And your name goes in that drawing to win. That beautiful feels like. See how it doesn't, it doesn't do it justice. If I just fan it out like that, you can't see how beautiful it is. But that beautiful feels like Frost Designer Series paper. Okay. Oh, I'm always like, which card do I want to show first? Okay, I think I have what I want. Okay, so have you guys been enjoying our product of the week, the Cup of Christmas bundle? So you can see I've actually got a bunch of them on the back there. I always do that, right? So these are the ones I'm not using. <laughs> and those are the ones that we are using all jumbled up. But my favorite part, and I didn't even get this, like looking at this, this stamp is reversible. So there's one stamp in there that is this mug with the stripes, but it's a stamp on both sides. So it's a new kind of patent pending uh, design of a stamp that Stampin' Up! is coming up with. So same thing with the polka dots too. So you can, if you're a left-hander or a right-hander, whichever way that goes really, right? <laughs> or you can have like a cute little set of mugs. Anyway, I just think that's so fun that these are reversible. So this first card actually doesn't show the reversibility, but the second one will. So, okay. Um, plus they've got cute sentiments too, right? Sending you a cup of cheer, sweet Christmas wishes, Comfort and joy, and joy, and then this one's tiny. Wishing you a Christmas filled with love and happiness, and then Merry Christmas, and yum! And then another, obviously, little outline image, and then some other really pretty, kind of that poinsettia, and some little, lots of other doodads and things, right? So super cute stamp set, and then the framelits, too. <laughs> and I had somebody ask me, so this is kind of a thing that you would lay over, Maybe one, uh, maybe probably that cup, I'm thinking. And somebody asked me, can you cut out that poinsettia? And you can. So it comes all in one piece, but you can kind of snip around all those edges. So you would have a really pretty poinsettia. And of course, I forgot to bring that over here. Um, but it is very, very cool. And then this one would be fun too with all the little stripes that would come out. I haven't used that one yet. And then they've got a couple of little tags too. That's a little baby tag. We used a little bit bigger one. 
and then that would cut out that little poinsettia there also. So if you wanted to stamp it, you could die cut it. Ooh, and make little berries too. So super cute, very versatile. You can obviously, the first card I'm gonna show you is not Christmassy. So even though this is called Cup of Christmas, I think it could be like, you know, just cup of, cup of fun, right? Because you can use these cute little cups any time of the year, I would say. Um, okay, so here, let me show you the first project. And I had to try, so I used the um, more of, now I'm drawing a blank on what it's called, the Ice Stampin' Glitter, because I didn't think, I just think it doesn't show up very well. You can kind of get a little, um, in person you can totally see it, but on this video, and even in my pictures, it was really hard, because I know I showed you that Ice Stampin' Glitter on last week's card, where was it? Yeah, this one. Eh, I don't know, you still can't really, there, eh, just a little bit, right? You see a little bit of that glitter on that tree? So I was like, I gotta show it again because it's so cool. I've been having lots of fun with this. So, okay, let me show you how we are gonna put that card together. All right, so here, I'll show you too before it gets inky. This is the stamp that you can ink it one way. And since it's clean, I can just do this. I can take it off flip it over and now I've got the reverse. So isn't that cool? And then obviously it stamps opposite. So I need to flip mine back because I want mine to go that way, right? So I'm just gonna flip that over. So it's a stamp on both sides. We've not done that before, okay? So that's all you have to do. And you just, ooh, I forgot to bring my cleaner. Hmm, I think I'm gonna need to grab that. Give me one sec, I'm gonna grab my scrubby pad because I am gonna need to clean that when I go to stamp again. I'll be right back. Whoops. And guess what I found? <laughs> Leo, my puppy, is like, why are you running around? So this is the poinsettia. Oh, look at now the sun's gonna come out. Okay, we're not complaining, right? <laughs> Finally, it's been days and days. We're happy to see you, sun. So this, if I flip it around, maybe about like that, came out of there. So isn't that cool? So you yeah, definitely can have very beautiful, detailed poinsettia images also from those dies. Okay, so let's do it, ladies. Are we ready? So I've got my ink. I've got all my parts and pieces, I believe. Okay, so what do we wanna do first? Let's, we're gonna stamp our little enjoy. So that was the other. All right, seriously, this table's going for a ride. Let's see, get rid of the glares. There we go. Okay. So hopefully it's not too dark now. I moved away from the light a little bit, but okay. So there's that little tag also with the enjoy. Can you guys see that right there? Right. Okay. So let's stamp that. So I've got my seaside spray ink. And you guys know how awesome Stampin' Up! is, right? That they coordinate everything. This card was kind of built off of, well, honestly, what I did was I pulled um, the color coach. I wanted to use a seaside spray. I wanted to use that color because I thought kind of a soft, pretty blue would be nice. And then I found the color combination of seaside spray, early espresso, and then this is... Uh, gray granite. So kind of a nice wintry um, looking color combination, I would say, but I love the color coach, Stampin' Up's color coach, because they basically told me that these three colors would look very well together, and I agreed. Um, and hopefully you guys do too. I just think that's, an, like I said, a nice kind of subtle wintry color combination. So, and then the other awesome part, right, the all of the coordination with the cardstock and seaside spray, that's that piece right there, and our designer series paper, and then our ink for our stamp. So love that coordination. That's one of the best parts, right, about Stampin' Up. Um, we can also, let's keep this open. We're gonna stamp on this little white piece. When I made this card, I'll show you guys. So I didn't have that on there at first, and I thought it looked too, uh, like it needed something else. And then I saw, okay, like taking a look at the stamp set, trying to see if there's any other bling, anything else I could use. And then I saw that image right there, and I thought, how cute, let's just put that kind of in the corner there, just to add a little bit of, a little bit of detail and fun. So we're just gonna nice, easy, you guys know that, right? Tap, 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 we're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. That is it, 
Okay, now let's go ahead and do our stamping for our um, mug on here too. So now, like I said, this is early espresso, so we're gonna use our early espresso ink. I'm gonna just do that, okay. Oh, you know what I wanna do though? I definitely found that it was helpful to have your stamp and pierce mat underneath your cardstock. So I definitely wanna do that because there's so much kind of solid image. So you can see how I'm just tap, tap, tap. I am trying to, and I'm gonna take a look at that and make sure that it looks like I've got ink all over. And then I'm gonna press straight down and I am, I wanna, this one I wanna make sure I'm getting all of the ink off of my stamp and onto, woo, look at that beautiful crisp image. I love that. Okay, what I am gonna do before I forget, I'm gonna clean off that stamp because I am gonna have to flip it over uh, for my next card, which I'll show you in just a few minutes, okay? All right, so we've got that. Now I think we can do our die cutting, but actually before we do that, let me give you, because I, I jumped right past that, let me give you measurements, okay? So we have, let's scoot this guy out of the way for a sec. <laughs> we've got our gray granite card base. Ooh, and I ordered my paper trimmer. I'm so excited to have that. I'm gonna be able to share that with you guys. Hopefully next week um, I should have that and be ready to show you guys. So I'm sure lots of other people got them like overnighted or they live super close to Stampin' Up! So maybe you've already seen them in action. Um, there's a cute video um, too that I think I posted. I meant to. If I didn't, I think I did. Um, so you can check that out. But yeah, Stampin' Trimmer and um, Scorer Tool will be here shortly and I'll be able to share that with you guys. So in the meantime, we have our 11 inch side that we cut at five and a half inches in half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our card base, right? Actually, maybe I'll put that right there. Then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Hey, Vina, how are you? And we are gonna emboss that piece with the stylish scroll embossing folder that I know I've said this, but it's in the Halloween, the Monster Bash or Spooktacular Bash suite, but it's clearly not just for Halloween, right? You can use it even on, um, it kind of looks like wallpaper in some ways, I think, like that pretty brocade look almost. So it's cute on that card as well, right? Okay, um, what else do we need? We need to know, actually, designer series paper, the Seaside Spray, you got that pretty cursive writing on one side and then the chicken wire <laughs> on the other side. This one measures one and a half by five. And I actually cut it down a little bit because it seems like when you run this paper through, it shrinks up. So even though it was at five and a quarter, I cut this down to like five and one eight because it goes in just a little bit. We'll see if that happens. But you can see how it's a little bit short on there and then when we emboss I feel like it shrinks my paper just a tiny bit. Okay, then we have a piece of seaside spray cardstock that measures three inches by three and three quarter. That is that piece that's gonna go there. And then the white piece that I already stamped on that measures, um, let's see, two and three quarters by three and a half. And then that's just gonna layer right on there, okay? So let's do our um, embossing and die cutting, okay? So I'm gonna scoot that guy right there, grab my big shot. Okay, so let's do our die cutting since I'm set up for that first. Okay. So we have our, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna just trim this down instead of having that full strip there. So I'm gonna put that guy on there. And then I've got my little enjoy. Oh, and then I also have just a little scrap piece of uh, Seaside Spray cardstock for, ooh, yeah, and we have that too. Ha <laughs> ha, I almost missed that one. <laughs> you, yes, you finally made a live video. Yay, go Vina, that's awesome. Um, okay, so we're gonna use the blue, the Seaside Spray for that little spriggy piece. And then can you guys see that cute little bow? So I have just a little scrap piece of my, um, I don't even know what this is called, right? The, it's like a shimmery, 
uh, glitter paper. I'll have, oh, that reminds me though too. I will have the names, so I'll have the official name of that pretty glittery paper. Um, I'll have names and item codes of everything that we use to make this project on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. That will post later this afternoon after we're done with the Facebook Live, okay? So if you wanna know um, what the name of something was or the item number um, to put your order in, I'll have all of that over at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so where did I put my dies now? They're hiding. There they are. Okay, so let's see. We're going to get these out, and I've got more than I need here because I've got some things that I'm going to use later. But this little piece right here is what we're going to lay on our blue. Then that's our little bow, right? We're going to put that on our little sparkly glimmer paper. We have the little um, tea cup, cup, coffee cup, whatever you want to call it. And let me put these over here. Then we've got our little label piece, right? Which way did I go with this? This way, actually. There. So we're going to put that on our enjoy. Okay, so we just have to make sure we get everything lined up so it cuts nicely. That one doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I'm like this um, glimmer paper because you only get two 12 by 12 sheets of it. So here, I'll just, I'll show you, even though this is kind of embarrassing, right? So I probably cut these things out, who knows, way back when, and I'm like, ooh, all those little pieces. <laughs> I can use those for something. Well, the bow fits perfectly on all of those. So I just ripped a little bit off and put my bow right there. Okay, so I think we are good to go. Okay, so we're gonna crank these through here, make all of our cuts. Sorry, I know that's wiggly. I'm actually gonna go back through because that little spriggy piece has quite a bit of detail. I want to make sure. Okay, so cute little, right? <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. Keep these so I don't lose anything, right? And then our little cup, right? Our coffee mug, coffee cup pops right out of there, right? Okay, and our little bow, and it did. Good. Okay, that's going to help me. Okay. And you just pop that other little baby out there. So there's our little bow. Hold on, I got to show you that again. He's so cute and sparkly, isn't he? You cannot see the sparkle. Bummer. Okay, and then this other little spriggy piece. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit easier too. I like that kind of when that happens because then I can just pop this out. I will probably run my little, um, my Big Shot die brush on that piece. Okay, get those out of the way here. Get all those little bits out of there. Actually, before I do that, let's do our embossing since we're kind of set up here for this. Okay, so I need my regular platform here, okay? I have the Stylish Scroll Embossing Folder. <laughs> yes, I know, it's a great way, you're right. All those little scraps. So I don't keep everything like I used to, but I do still keep a bunch. <laughs> Lily will help me, you know, at like the end of the class or something, and she'll say, Mom, do you want to keep this scrap? And, you know, there's kind of a rule of thumb, like, you know, how how big is it, whether we keep it or not. And that isn't going to... I have I have not quite learned, honestly. I thought, you know, that's supposed to be for 3D, I thought, but this is a 3D embossing folder. You know what? I don't know if it really is. It's not. That's why. Okay, forget that. I thought it was a 3D. Must have been looking at something else. Okay, so because this is not a 3D embossing folder, we can use our regular platform and then one clear pad underneath our um, embossing folder with our paper inside and then another clear folder or clear plate on top. Okay, so sorry. The 3D ones are when you don't need either of these clear pieces and you need the blue piece instead. So I'm still figuring that out myself. And I apologize for any confusion I have created there. All right, let's get the big shot out of the way here. All right, you guys want to see, because I love, I love this folder. This is another one I want to use all the time. Look at that. So it can be a tall, right, or it can be a wide. And I kind of went with it wide because I thought that kind of mimicked Ooh, and I did it, yay. So do you see how that happened? It started out as four by five and a quarter and then it like it shrinks it a little bit. So now it's probably a little bit more like five and an eighth. So that's why I cut that strip just a little bit. But as I was saying, this image or kind of look kind of is mirrored on that paper as well, okay? All right, so 
let me grab, I'm just gonna roll this thing on here. Where's my brush? Okay, so we're just gonna roll that on there to get all those little, and sometimes it um, actually kind of sticks. So just be gentle. I forgot to bring my paper piercing tool. I do have my snips though. So sometimes you do have to just poke a couple out. Even that thing doesn't always like to make them. And you know, of course, because we're doing this on the live, there's gonna be like a futzy one or two that would never happen otherwise. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's put our card together now, right? Here we go. I'm looking for the card base. Actually, let's do this. We are going to put adhesive. Oh, you know what? Because I prepped for this and then I made a bunch of projects last night, so I took my adhesive back. Okay, so one more sec. I got to go grab my adhesive. Um, oh, and let's see. Sally, you're saying you punch out the punches. Uh, yes. And sometimes I'll stamp the design that goes on it and then punch. Yeah, so then you have a bunch of punch outs you can use. That's an awesome idea. And Leo, the puppy, again, is like, what are you doing? So I have such a mess. Okay, so when in doubt, you just grab a new snail and open it up and use that one <laughs> instead because that's how this goes sometimes. I don't know. Oh, now I see it. It was like literally right in front of my face. Okay, here we go. Here's my snail. I panicked and thought I, I um, forgot to put it out. Oh, you know, ladies, right? Sometimes... Those things happen. Okay, so we're just going to add that piece right along there. Then we can put some adhesive on the back of our white piece. Okay. And add that to our seaside spray piece. Now, actually, let's start putting things on the card. This time I use quite a bit of adhesive. And it's funny, as I watch people um, put adhesive on their um, projects at class, I never go in the middle, I, maybe because sometimes I wanna lift it off. And if I just go around the edges, then it's easier for me to do that. Plus, I don't think I've ever had anything come off. So I only put adhesive around the edges. I do try to get right up into the corners because I don't like when the corners kind of roll up, you know, if that's kind of coming off. I don't like that. So I do like to try to get my adhesive right in the corners there. Okay. And you do want to press pretty firmly to get that down well. Now I'm going to add, in this one I do want to add some big runs of adhesive, again, just around the edges and getting into the corners because when you put this piece on the embossed piece, all that bumpiness, um, kind of doesn't allow it to stick quite as well, I would say. Okay, now for the fun. Actually, you know what? Nope, we're gonna do this very last. I'm gonna add my glitter on here very last or almost very last. Okay, so I need dimensionals. You guys, I forgot everything today. I'm so sorry. I'm too um, intent on trying to make sure I'm ready for this retreat and the, get all the retreat in a box stuff out that... Okay, sorry, I keep apologizing. I'll be right back one more time. Okay. <laughs> That's gotta be all that I've forgotten, right? I can't have forgotten anything else. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put a couple of these guys on here. Okay, so we're gonna add him. Now we're gonna glitterify him, I think. That'll, that'll be how we're gonna do that. Before we put these other little pieces on there, we're gonna add our glitter, okay? So again, I have got my ice stamp and glitter. Okay, so I have my shimmery crystal effects, which I love, and we're just gonna kinda prime that up a little bit. I have found so I have to get right down in here. Oh, okay. Yep, I got a good amount on that one. Okay. So when you um, squeeze, just kind of squeeze gently. I mean, you want to get a decent amount so that 
so that a bunch of glitter sticks on there, right? But you don't want this huge glob that goes over the edge of the white little circle that you have there. So I'm gonna try to hold this up. I don't know you guys are even gonna be able to see, but I love how quick and easy that goes back on. So I don't know if you guys can even see the, there are little dots of glue all over there. Now, I'm gonna just slide this into place and you just kind of dump some of this on and that's probably all you need, right? And then you just kind of tap that around and I love using something that's big enough like this. Stampin' Up ought to come up with something like this. We used to have a little tray at one time. Um, but then you just dump off the excess and it sticks. Okay, can you guys see? Sorry, now the sun is gone, so I want to get back over. <laughs> you know, if I push the table back toward the window, that sun's going to come out again, though. <laughs> yes, I know. So glad they brought the crystal effects back. You're right, Philomena. Yes, look at all that fun. And then look at, this is a huge thing of glitter, too, right? So look at... Look at all of that. So I've got I've got a bunch in my little Ziploc thingy here. Okay, we're moving the table back because now it's too dark. It's bugging me. <laughs> this is like the sign of winter, right? When I have to keep sliding the table around. Okay, so there, that's a little bit brighter now. Okay, so let's see. We got our little bits here now that we're gonna add on, okay? Let me get that guy out of the way too. So I need one more dimensional. I'm gonna put that on the back of my little enjoy tag. Actually, before I do that, I am going to, where's this little guy? So all my little tools here. I love my little silicone craft sheet also. We are going to add, and you know what? I actually pulled these apart. There, I'm going to just do that because I wanted them to kind of angle out a little bit more. Okay, so use this little silicone craft sheet to add adhesive because then it doesn't stick to anything, which I love that okay so we're gonna kind of maybe put one there and we're gonna put one maybe right about there and then we're gonna add our little i did take that off already we're gonna put our little enjoy right there and then again we're gonna flip our little bow over and i'm gonna add some adhesive and i'm just kind of rolling a little bit again so it doesn't stick and then i'm gonna add my little enjoy tag right there and there we go. So how cute, huh? A cute little enjoy. You can send this to a friend that loves coffee or tea, right? For any time of year. So again, I love that this stamp set is versatile enough that it's it doesn't have to just be Christmassy, right? So I wanted to make sure to show you guys that idea, right? So super cute. And you guys can kind of see the glitteriness, right? On there. Okay, where to move these so I don't lose them, right? Oh, I'm right there. Okay, so now, okay, let me show you guys this other card. I am loving all the details on this one too. So it's another one that features our Cup of Christmas bundle, but this one is very Christmassy now, right? So I love, again, the cups with that super cute little candy cane, and I loved pulling in um, our designer series paper. And then my favorite, my most favorite part is this ribbon. This is a cherry cobbler and white, um, kind of a diagonal striped ribbon. Isn't that so cute? And then we got the little comfort and joy with some little rhinestones that are from the holiday rhinestone basic jewels. So let me give you some more details on how to make this card now. Okay. Um, what else do I need? Make sure I have, and you can see, so the, this is what I have left of one pack of my holiday rhinestone basic jewels. So I've been having lots of fun with those. All right, let's get back on it away. We do need that one. Okay, and our ink. All right, I think we are ready to do it. I'm gonna give you dimensions right now so I don't forget that. So we've got, this is a cherry cobbler card base and I made a tall card. And then I put the poinsettia on the inside too. I've been having lots of fun kind of, I love to do that. If there isn't maybe a sentiment that I wanna to use to put in the middle, I love to at least put something kind of in the corner to decorate the inside of my card. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'm glad you like this card. I love it too. So the other one is just, it's not quite as, um, there's not as much bang for, right? Because 
Um, the colors are more subtle, but these, I love the deep red and the brown, love that. Okay, so Cherry Cobbler card base. This time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter, right? And then the, along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches for a tall card like that, okay? Then we have, what else do we have? I have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock, one for the inside and one for the outside of the card that measure four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I've got my designer series paper, the wrapped in plaid, cute little polka dots on the back there, right? This piece measures two and a half by four inches, okay? And then I've just got some other scrap pieces to do our stamping and die cutting and so on, okay? So let's do our stamping first here. So I've got my strip of Whisper White paper and Oh my, crafter math, serious crafter math right here. Okay, so that's what I was looking for, my little stamp and Pierce mat. So now we are going to use our early espresso ink for both of our mugs. I don't know why, I loved the, the brown mug. I guess maybe because I was thinking of coffee, right? Okay, so this is one of the stamps and same idea where this one is reversible so you could stamp it that way. Oops. Be a little bit careful, that's been on there for a few days actually. Or you can flip it over and stamp it that way. So just so cool. Obviously you wanna make sure to clean it before each of those, before you flip it, right? Okay, but again, I like to use my stamp and Pierce mat to make sure I get a good solid image when I stamp, okay? Yay, look at that, awesome. And then the other one that I've already flipped over, nope, I have not actually, have I? Because that's going the same way. Okay, that's right, I was just showing you guys. So now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna stamp on the other side. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. One thing I have found is they seem almost like a little bit slippery, like you wanna make sure to press straight down, like don't, I think the first time I did it, I kinda eh, I like slid off to the side a little bit. So just keep that in mind. And there is our other one. I must have had a little something on the, that's okay though. All right, so that, those are our little mugs right now. I've got actually right on here too. We're gonna stamp in our cherry cobbler ink. We're gonna stamp our comfort and joy. And in my effort to show you guys, I'll show you this in a sec, what, what I used to cut this one out. <laughs> I think you're gonna, you're gonna like this because you know how I said these ornate frames dies? These are part of the Halloween suite also. These dies, I think I've used every single week since I have had them. So this is another one. I used that little baby. I think last week, yeah, we used uh, the little Merry Christmas right here. It's cut out with that little piece. And then this week, I'm gonna use that little guy from the Ornate Frames dies. Again, look at all, so many great frames in there. So that's gonna go on that one right there, okay? And then, I think we just, yeah, we have a couple of other little things just to cut out. Okay, so we've got a bit to put on our Big Shot to cut out. I'm gonna snip this down so that'll be easier to run through. Okay, let me grab the Big Shot. All right, we're gonna pop this right here. Can you guys see? Yeah, well enough, right? All right, I've got my magnetic platform. I have literally thrown everything everywhere. So I'm trying to find <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay, all right, so this piece can go on here. I've got those two there. And then, where is my, oh, I do have a piece of cherry cobbler. Okay, right here, okay. So let me show you how we're gonna make the little candy cane too. Can you guys, yeah, we can still see everything, right? Okay. Put that one there. So I've got a piece of cherry cobbler and a piece of garden green for our other images. So that's the little spriggy thing that I call it for garden green. Then we have both of our mugs. We're gonna put one on there. I'll move those in a sec. And then, so these are the little candy canes. This is kind of fun, right? So they've got the one that'll kind of notch things out. And then this is the white one that we're gonna put behind it. So this is just a full, candy cane, so we're gonna cut the white there. And then the little um, stripes we're gonna use with that one. Okay, so now to try to get these all in position without them like winging around, right? 
see how lucky I can get here. Okay. All right, I'm feeling good so far. So we'll see, hopefully nothing moves when I put my top plate on. I'm trying to be careful. Oops, and then I, <laughs> I think I'm all right. I think that just top plate moved and that was it. Okay, so again, sorry about the wiggle. I'm gonna go, let me make sure I did go all the way through, yep. The little spriggy thing is what I know I need to make sure comes off. Okay, so we've got our little comfort and joy. Look at that cute little label. Another gray ornate frame die. I'm gonna pull these guys off. So these are really simple to use also. So we've got our little mugs. So cute. And that little piece comes right off there too, right? Got our little mugs. I'm trying to keep everything in place. And then our little candy canes. So you can see the fun you can have with these dies too, right? Those little candy canes. Lots of cute things with those, right? And then here is this little stripey one. We're gonna pop that. This one and our little spriggy guy. We'll put both of those. We'll roll our little dye brush on those. Okay, let's scoot this stuff out of the way. All right, we've got this thing. And sometimes it doesn't even pop out, so instead of monkeying with it, I'm just gonna do this, and that's gonna help those little pieces come out. And it should, yep, help me pop. Ah, isn't that cute? Look at how fun that little guy is. Okay, and then for this one, we'll see. So usually I go back and forth a couple of times, <laughs> which might help. Um, here, maybe I'll hold it. So some of those things are being a little futzy. Let's find our snips. Or if you have your paper piercing tool, all of those came out, but this side, they don't wanna come out quite as easily. Really, like I said, if you were to just run that back and forth a couple of times, I don't think you'd have any problem at all. Okay, I think we have all of our little bits, our parts and pieces, so we can start putting things together. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper to one of our Whisper White, this is a four by five and a quarter piece Whisper White cardstock, right? Now my ribbon, okay, you guys, this ribbon is so fun. I love the little diagonal stripes. So we are gonna make this a really simple bow by just putting a strip along here, first of all, okay? So we're just gonna wrap that around. This is my favorite kind of a cheater bow. I call it. Okay, we wanna make sure to use a good amount of adhesive and lay that one on the adhesive. And then I like to flip it back over and make sure I'm not like going wonky somehow. I've got it straight across. And then I flip it over and tack it down, okay? Now, whoops, we can put this piece on our project, on our card base. You know what I might do, because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget? Let's stamp those poinsettias and put them on the inside right now, because otherwise I'll be looking at this blank piece of white card stock later on after you guys are done. Oh, and the other, where did it go? Buried, okay, so this is my new trick, so that I, because I'm like so silly about not wanting to like make a mess of my very pristine white uh, grid paper. So I've got my little grid paper. So I'm, this is my new scrap piece. Right, so when I wanna kinda of stamp off the corner, I'm just gonna grab my little grid piece, and then I don't care if I garbage up my little one, right, because then my big one is still intact for um, my Facebook Lives. <laughs> I don't know, I'm too cheap about some things, I guess. Um, I just don't wanna buy a bunch of this grid paper. when I, And I don't like it when it's got um, stuff stamped all over it. I think it looks kinda of garbagey. So I like it to stay nice and pristine for my Facebook Lives. You should see the one I use in my craft room. Now that's a total mess, to be honest. Probably should switch those out more often, but it's to um, protect my table and my tablecloth. So yes, beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? I love that DSP too, uh, Philomena. Okay, so let's see, we are going to, let me make sure I do this in the right steps, yep. Okay, let's add a couple of dimensionals behind our little coffee mugs or teacups, whatever you want to call them, right? Okay, so we're going to pop 
This one I'm gonna put maybe right about there, okay? And then I've got that one, maybe right about there. Oh, now I need my little, let's get this little mat again here, right? Okay, because this is another great example, a couple of them here. This little stripey piece, because it's the adhesive is going to kind of go through all those little holes. So I'm just going to kind of carefully, I'm just, I'm not running a huge strip. I'm just kind of tick, tick, ticking it there. Put my adhesive all over that piece. And then if I can get my fingers underneath there, now I can lay this down on my white and make sure that gets lined up, right? And then if I've got some extra adhesive, if I just kind of rub with my finger right on there, it'll help kind of peel off some of that adhesive that I don't need. Now, I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit of adhesive because I want this kind of popping out. Let's see if I can maybe, and you have to keep in mind where you put the dimensionals too. So we're gonna make it go like that, basically. That'll look good there. I also want to add a little bit of adhesive on that little spriggy guy. And you know what, I'm gonna hold off on putting that on because I wanna get it tucked underneath this little comfort and joy. So I wanna put a dimensional on this one. Okay, we're gonna kinda add that. Actually, we'll go that way, right? Maybe right there. And then this little spriggy thing can just kinda tuck underneath there. Oops, there we go. Now we need to finish our card. We've got more of the cherry cobbler and white diagonal striped ribbon. And you know what I'm gonna show you guys? Cause let's see if we can do this. When I flip this through, I, this is kind of the back side to me. So I'm gonna twist that and then put it through my loop so that I have the front side showing on both of my kind of wings of my bow, if that makes sense. I like to do that. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you've got kind of uniformity and sometimes I really like to have that. So, oop, UPS man is here. Okay, this could be interesting. We'll see if Leo realizes what's going on. Okay, so there's my little bow, right? And then, ooh, I'm glad I grabbed my glue dots. I didn't think I was gonna need those, but here we go. We do need them. Okay, so I'm gonna pop my bow, peel that off with my glue dot. I'm gonna add this, oops. Oh good, my glue dot stayed. That's where I wanted it too, right? So we're gonna put that right there. Now there's one more because I love, right, my little holiday rhinestone basic jewels. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these little guys and I'm gonna put them on either side of my little holly berry thingies. Oh good, Leo didn't even really, he's in a deep sleep, I think. He didn't even realize the UPS man. There's probably another Stampin' Up box out there, ladies. <laughs> I can't wait to go see what's in there. All right, there we go. All right, so how about that? Isn't that so cute? I love these projects, oh my gosh. How much fun. How Wouldn't you just love to get one of these fun holiday cards in the mail? Comfort and joy. Beautiful. Hmm? All right. So, ladies, if you want those projects sent to you, um, let me grab both of these things, right? So, I will send you one of each of these fun cards made with the Cup of Cheer Bundle, right? Our product of the week. Put your online order in of at least $30. Make sure you use this new host code, for October, the NPTCWZUH. If you bump your order up to $50, you're also going to get a free embellishment from me. And your name goes in the drawing to win the beautiful Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper. Let's see. Can you guys, actually, you can see that a little bit better now, can't you? The pretty silver and white. So uh, can you imagine like anniversaries paper? You know, it'd be great for anniversary cards too. Both sides, yes, are beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> Uh-oh, Sally's saying I twisted her arm again. Sorry, Sally. <laughs> she always says that, ladies, too. I don't really mean to. I just fall in love with these things and have to show you guys how cute they are, right? So thank you guys so much for joining me. Like I said, I am doing an impromptu BOGO sale down at the Stamp Studio tomorrow, Saturday, 
um, October 5th from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. So come see me, come shop the BOGO sale, get some great retired product, get some new holiday and annual catalog product for free. So you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next Friday. Bye everybody. Thank you so much for joining me.